Episode 3. A crooked mile. Itchy arm. Sorry, it is itchy. There we go. Oh shit, yeah, Crane Britain there is, isn't he? I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take well, away from all this. Available. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? Mm, they all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. Dr. Swineheart. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. You'll try to eat more chicken. Alright then. Very good. I like chicken. Chicken's good. Business office. Oh shit, right out I know. Milk. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? Mmm, that's Big B. She call him Big D. <laughs> so, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just it's doesn't make sense. Though. He's... He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Not completely. Time awful. heals everything eventually. At least I hope so, for her sake. Can I um ask you a question? It's kind of personal. Oh? And I, I don't want to offend you, but after tonight. Sure. It's just when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw oh, Crane pick it. something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. 
We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Great. So... Look on Crane... in Crane's desk. Wyatt. There we go. Right, what's in the inbox? Oh, a ho motel key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. Oh, you still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head, interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? That crane is a bit of a stalker. What else is there? Come on, let's keep looking. <laughs> Ignore the question then. Bitch. Okay. Ichabod Crane, are there any updates on extra funding on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions were I cannot read. The conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be a made a priority. Best. Wayland Smith. Dear Mr. Ichabod Crane, I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means but I assume it's something gross and I'd really like you to fix the air like we asked you to three months ago. At the very least provide us with a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. I need to get his shit together. Who made him in charge anyway? There's a the page here that was torn there. out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? The ring of... It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn it, Buffkin. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. Nice. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed Fuck you, Bluebeard. yet? Bluebeard. Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert, or not? Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? 
Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. Buffkin? A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn Why away do you, help. Cat Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> enterprise. Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years unofficially now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs so to run annoying. the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Uh... That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. So... No, chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just... Can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. Come on, Bluebeard. And is upstairs right away, now in on. his pitiful Give penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how couch a smart forts. person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we Pretty don't have sure the time to that. really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Um... Uh... Um... I... This. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No... No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Um... Um... I'm gonna go to... Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. 
Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Penthouse, eh? Don't mind if I do?